Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collab with Joni from Keto Diamond. We both love paranormal stuff and we wanted to do a video on da, 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 Zach Bagan's Demon House. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna read to you guys a little bit about it and then I'm gonna speak to you guys a little incident from personal experience. So let me get started because I don't wanna make the video too long. Okay, so this is a documentary that Zach Bagans from Goes Adventures did on the Demon House. And it says, Zach Bagans Demon House, The Real Story, 10 Things to Know About the Gary, Indiana Case. Um, okay, so the Demon House home had been target of vandalism and seances after drawing national attention in wake of 2014 Indie Star Story. Sometimes real life is even stranger than the Hollywood story. When Zach Bagans, the host and executive producer of Ghost Adventures uh, on the Travel Channel, read an indie story, an indie star story about Latoya Ammons' allegations of demon possession inside a demon house in Gary, Indiana, he was hooked. Ammons claimed she and her three young children had been possessed by spirits inside the rental home from 2011 to 2012. The Gary Police Department and the Indiana Department of Child Services investigated a priest, performed exorcisms, and even some of the biggest skeptics were made into believers. So, okay, Zach Bagans came with his crew. They investigated the demon house. Um, they did a documentary about it. They wanted to get more deeper into the story because this woman claimed that her and her children were being possessed by these demonic forces in their homes. Okay, so let me see. Um, what happened in the demon house in Gary, Indiana? Ammons claims she and her three children were possessed by demons inside the Northwest Indiana home when they began renting it in November 2011. Immediately after they arrived, Ammons told the Indy Star that despite cold December temperatures, large black flies swarmed their screen-in porch and they kept coming back. Even when the family killed them and Killed them and killed them? Okay. Oh, killed them and killed them over and over again. I guess the flies just kept coming back. Ammon's mother, Rosa Campbell, told Indie Star reporter Marissa Hadwaski. I don't know, some weird name there. <laughs> From there, things got really strange. Campbell and Ammons heard footsteps on the basement stairs late at night. The basement and kitchen doors creaked open unassisted. And then they claimed the demons got to the three children. They told Indie Star that the kids' eyes bulged, their voices deepened, and they sported evil smiles while possessed. The nine-year-old boy described what it felt like to be killed and walked up the wall in the presence of a family case manager and hospital nurse. The seven-year-old clenched his hands around his older brother's throat and wouldn't let go until an adult pried him off. The 12-year-old girl floated above the bed while unconscious, the family said so okay the police investigated and the Indiana Department of Child Services intervened and the DCS found Ammons guilty of neglect for not sending her children to school regularly they told Ammons to find a job and appropriate housing and cared for her three children while she did she regained custody after her ch six children I'm sorry, she regained custody of her children six months later and the family moved into a new home with no reports of demons. The case was closed in February 2013. Okay, so somebody had asked her, what does demon possession feel like? And Ammons told Indie Star that she felt weak, lightheaded, and warm while possessed. Her body shook. The 12-year-old girl told mental health professionals that she was paralyzed and felt like she was being choked. You can tell it's different. Something supernatural, Ammons told Indie Star. Okay, so let me see what else. It doesn't say anything important. Was there really a, was there really a demon in the demon house? Bagans has no other explanation. Something was inside that house that had the ability to do things that I have never seen before, he told Indie Star via email in 2016. There was something there that was very dark yet highly intelligent and powerful. 
Gary Police Captain Charles Austin told Indy Star in 2014 that he initially thought Ammons and her family were liars out to get rich. But then he visited the home, interviewed witnesses, and came out a believer. Um, Maginot, the priest who performed the exorcism, told Indy Star he was also convinced. What happened to the demon house? After buying the home in 2014, Bagans bulldozed it in February 2016. He filmed the Demolition for the Demon House documentary. And let me see anything else. I'm going to watch the documentary. Okay. All right. So that's it. Okay. Pretty much I just wanted to cover a few things like the basic information about the demon house. So basically, yes, Zach Bagans from um, Ghost Adventures investigated this case because it was like, wow. I remember with the, when this documentary came out, I watched it, I think it was on Amazon, Amazon Prime or something. And this was about a year or so ago. I remember it was in May and I'm never gonna forget why because of what happened to me after I watched this documentary. When I first watched this documentary, uh, they were saying, and I think there was even a warning, before you watch the documentary, there's a warning um, before you watch it that basically it's cursed, the documentary is cursed, and anybody who watches it, you're watching at your own risk pretty much. So I was like, oh my God, you know, like. <laughs> well, um, and I have heard other people also make videos about this on YouTube about how it's cursed and this and that. And, and there's a warning, so it makes it even creepier, you know? So I watched the documentary. It was, let me tell you something. It takes a lot to scare me. Nothing really scares me. I'm the horror queen. I'm the goth queen. I love all things horror and goth, and, and I love the paranormal. Nothing really scares me much. But after watching this documentary, I was like, oh my God. Well, that documentary I watched it on May 4th. That was last year. The next day, we were having a Cinco de Mayo celebration at my house, and uh, we were gathered together with our friends and stuff like that, and I started getting a pain as soon as I finished eating in the, in the middle of my stomach, right above my belly button, and I was like, oh my God, I was doubled over in pain, and I couldn't take it anymore. So I, everybody went home, I slept it off. The next morning, the pain was not gone, and I told David, I had a weird feeling, and I was like, okay, this is not good. I had like a big ball bulging out of my the top of my belly button and um i told david babe i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to call my mom and tell me you know so he could stay with the boys i said i'm gonna call my mom tell her to take me to the hospital because i can't the pain doesn't go away this is not normal i went to the hospital the doctor checked me out i had a hernia i had that hernia for years it never hurt me i could always feel like the little ball bulging out but my doctor basically told me it was from being overweight and this and that and it was just like uh you know a little hernia there but it wasn't much for concern well it had never hurt me I never felt pain until after I watched that documentary I don't know call it coincidence maybe I am not much of a superstitious person uh, but it's a big coincidence after watching that documentary that claims watch at your own risk because it's cursed you know and I was like oh my god so yeah I went they did ultrasound they did everything the doctor was like Mm. <laughs> you have yes it is a hernia but we have to operate because there's a possibility that it's strangulated that's very dangerous if your hernia is strangulated you could die you know because it's cutting off circulation and i was like oh my god and then he comes back with the news he's like uh yeah so it is possibly strangulated and you also have gallstones so we have to fix the hernia and we have to remove the gallbladder. And I was like, whoa, what? Like in one day I receive all this news and I'm like, you know, the next, the day before I was all fine celebrating Cinco de Mayo with my family and this and that and the next thing you know, bam, I need surgery. And I'm like, wait, what? I called David in tears because my mom was the one that took me to the hospital. I was in the emergency room and I called David. I was like, babe, oh my God, I need surgery. He's like, and David was like, babe, oh my God, what? What do you mean, babe? And I told him, yeah, the doctor says it is a hernia, but it might, it's possibly strangulated and we can't risk it, so he has to go in and repair it. And to top it off, I have gallstones, so he says he has to completely remove my gallbladder. And we were like, what? 
So you guys, I don't know, call it a coincidence, call it a superstition, I don't know. I don't know what to say. All I know is that from personal experience, that's what happened to me after watching that documentary. It's pretty creepy. And when I when I got together with Joni, because we wanted to do this documentary, I, I kind of told her that I had a story <laughs> to tell from personal experience along with this um, documentary about uh, the demon house. So yeah, it's pretty creepy. So yeah, I don't know you guys. What do you think? Have you guys watched the documentary? I don't know. I'm so... I was so creeped out after watching it. To be honest with you, I never watched it again. It stayed in the back of my mind and I always associate having to get my gallbladder removed and my hernia was strangulated, having to get that surgery. I always associate it with like the documentary being cursed and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. I watched it once. I ain't watching it ever again, you know? I was like, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. You know, I'll watch other creepy paranormal stuff, but the next time I see something that has a warning, watch at your own risk because this documentary is cursed. You better bet your sweet life that I am not gonna watch it. <laughs> all right, you guys, so that's all I have for my part of the collaboration. I can't wait to see Joni's Keto Diamonds. Um, clip i'm super excited i love paranormal stuff so does she i'm glad we got together to do this collaboration i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for more because we're going to be bringing out more of these paranormal stuff we love it and we love to work together in these projects because it's fun and we like it we both love the paranormal so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video bye guys